guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab but this lab having one major issue on the task number 7 and task number 8 you might face the unnecessary error and I will tell you if you face the error then what you have to do so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once done with this just simply come back over here click on this activate cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile in the description box of this video I will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document now just me scroll down then copy this this command now I'll recommend you please use the online notepad do not use your personal notepad now just simply paste the command over here now what you do we have to just simply export all this value so just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy this bucket name come back over here and just simply paste over here and make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now again come back over here copy this region copy like this come back over here and just simply paste now for the data set name just simply copy this data set come back over here just simply paste over here now for the topic ID just simply copy this topic ID come back over here and just simply paste and hit enter now for the bucket name to come back to the lab instruction click on the task number 5 and from here just simply copy this bucket name just simply copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here like this now for the object name just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see just simply copy this object name come back over here and paste make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now just simply copy all this command come back go to the dashboard and just simply paste hit enter and it's done now again come back to the github repo just simply scroll down then copy this command just simply copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now just simply wait for this command get execute and once it's done we will move forward with the next task make sure that one thing is your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnect and because of that you might face a necessary error just simply make sure of that one thing
and it's finally done now just me come back over here so we have done with this command now just me scroll down then copy this command come back over here just simply paste and hit enter now just simply wait for this command get execute And it's done now what you do now here this will search for the data flow open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second now and here you can see our job is failed no need to worry again just simply come back over here and just simply copy this command again just simply copy like this come back to the dashboard just simply paste like this and hit enter okay sorry i didn't copy just simply copy this command again just simply paste and hit enter wait for a second And it's done now again if we just come back to the jobs and if we just simply refresh the page and as you can see this time job is running for you if your job is in still failed no need to worry again just simply copy the same command come back to the dashboard and just simply run now if i just simply refresh the page and as you can see status is running once you saw the status is running then only just simply scroll down and then copy this command just simply copy like this command come back to the dashboard just simply paste and hit enter now just simply wait for this command get execute and it's done now i request you please pay attention over here from here the app get little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention over here so basically what you do just search for the big query open open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second now click on this done now click on this arrow and then click on this data set arrow and here you can see we are not able to find any data table no need to worry about that just simply wait for a couple of minutes like Two to three minutes and if, after that if you just simply refresh the page you will get a one table name over here and if you are not able to get a table name over here then i will tell you what here to do because this is an issue with this lab i will tell you what here to do if you are not able to find the table name over that time
and as you can see we waited for at least more than two minutes now if i just need to come back over here and refresh the page let's see if we get a table name over here or not now if i just need to click over here and if i just need to click over here and as you can see i'm not able to find the table name no need to worry as you can see if we just simply come back to the live instruction and click on the task number seven and if i just simply scroll down and here you can see it's already mentioned like we have to just simply wait for at least five to ten minutes so if i just simply come back to the big query and if i just simply refresh the page just simply wait for a second now if i just simply click on this arrow and if i just simply click on this arrow and as you can see finally i am able to find the transcript over here okay now what happens sometime if you waited for at least 5 to 10 minutes and if you still not able to find the table name okay after waiting for 10 minutes and then if you still not able to find the table name that time just simply end the lab and try this lab after a couple of hours you don't have to wait for more time because you will not get a table name because this is an issue with this lab so i'm recommending you if you're not able to find the table name after waiting for 10 minutes just simply end the lab and try this lab after some time okay and once you find the table name then only just simply come back to the github repo just scroll down and from here just simply copy this command this two command come back to the dashboard just simply paste this two command over here like this and just simply wait And it's done now if you just simply come back to the big query again and if you just simply refresh the page let's see now if i just simply click on this down arrow and if i just simply click on uh, click on this unwanted pop-up now click on this down arrow and here you can see this three table name i will tell you the reason behind that i create this extra table so what here do first of all just simply click on this saf table over here like this and then click on this export and from here just simply to the scan with sensitive data just simply click over here now for the job id just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy your project id make sure that you have to copy your project id come back over here paste and just simply scroll down and then click on this create wait for a second and then click on this confirm and create And it's done now just simply wait until this task get done and once it's done you are done with this lab as well and it's done now if we just simply come back to the lab instruction and click on the check my progress for all the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated just simply wait for a couple of seconds and the score will update for sure just simply wait and let's see so as you can see we are not able to get a score on last two tasks no need to worry just simply click on the task number seven just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress let's see if we get a green tick here or not And as you can see after a couple of time we got a green tick now again just scroll down click on the task number eight check my progress let's see if we got a green tick or not and as you can see we are getting this kind of error just simply wait for a couple of seconds and let's see
and as you can see after clicking on check my progress for multiple times i am not able to get a score on the last task and that's the reason i created the extra table over here so basically just mix search for the big query come back over here wait for a second click on this down arrow then click on this and here you can see quick lab table name then click over here and then again just will just perform the step which is just perform just again click on this sensitive data for the lab just simply copy this project id just simply paste over here and for this time just type underscore 2 again just simply scroll down and then click on this create now just simply wait and then click on this confirm and create And it's finally done. Now, if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now, after performing all this step, if you're still not able to get a score on this task, then you have two choices. You can just simply wait for at least 30 minutes more, or you can just simply end the lab and then again just simply try this lab after some time. Okay, that is the issue with this lab. We can't do anything. We have to just simply wait until they fix this lab. And that's why we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.